Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance Tutorial. Today we're going to speak about Radium Exchange on the Solana ecosystem, about the Ray token, why I'm bullish on it and what it is. Everything that you need to know about Radium is in this video. So if you heard about this token, if you heard about this uh, exchange and you want to learn, watch this video to get educated about DeFi, about Solana and about Radium. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so when I post, of videos about radium serum solana nfts DeFi, pancake swap sushi swap all these kind of cool things you will get notified and can watch my videos and learn from me now let's get started radium radium.io this is the main website and avenue for the evolution of DeFi, light speed swaps next level liquidity friction less yield so this is the radium decentralized exchange it's the biggest decentralized exchange on Solana, for example, the Uniswap and SushiSwap are the biggest ones on, a pen, on Ethereum, SpookySwap on Phantom, Trade Joe on Avalanche, PancakeSwap on Binance Smart Chain, and Radium is the biggest one on Solana ecosystem. You have $2.2 billion locked in the smart contracts, and you have $28 billion total, 0.2, in trading volume. You can see right here that it's built on Solana. And yeah, this is super, super cool. You have another cool thing with Radium that's actually um, unique to other decentralized exchange, exchanges that it actually has an order book. Order book when you can place limit orders, bids and ask like in traditional exchanges, thanks to Serum because Radium works with Serum. Serum is the protocol that provides, that enables this kind of limit orders on smart contracts on Solana. If you don't know what Serum is and how it works, watch my previous video about Serum. I will put a link in the description below so you can learn how Serum works because Radium and Serum are connected. Radium is using the Serum protocol. So you have best price swap. So we have the old, good old swaps that you're familiar with from SushiSwap, Uniswap, Packet Swap, and you have a lot of uh, launches. You have Launchpad on Radium, IDOs. So new projects are launching on Radium. And this is super cool. This is the main page. Now let's go in to the Radium application. So the first thing that I want to show you actually is the super cool thing, which is trading. If you click here on trading, this is the Radium order book DEX. This is super, super cool. You can place limit orders like traditional centralized exchanges, but this time it's working with smart contracts. So you can see right here that you have asks and bids, and these are all the recent trades, and you can put some limit orders for buy and sell. You can choose the token. Right now it's Ray USDT, uh, Ray USDC, but I will have a complete tutorial of how the limit orders, how the order book works on Radium. So stay tuned, click subscribe and the notification bell button. So when I post this video, you will get notified in order to learn how to place uh, limit orders on Solana using Radium. So this is super, super cool. The limit order book on Radium. And then you have the swap feature, of course, the swap feature that you are familiar with from the other DEXs. So you can swap in very easily from any token to any token if there is liquidity. So from Ray USDC, for example, you can put 100 Ray will be $1,220 in USDC. You can adjust the slippage tolerance, everything that you're familiar with, with centralized exchanges, you can add tokens and you connect your wallet. You can connect any Solana wallet that you want. There are so many wallets. I use Phantom wallet. I have also a tutorial about Phantom. So check this, check my channel out, check the videos. I have so many tutorials about DeFi and Solana in particular. This is the liquidity. You can add liquidity like in PancakeSwap where you add liquidity, you can add any tokens liquidity and you can actually see here on the pools, all the performance of the different liquidity pools that exist on Radium. For example, you can see that Ray Sol liquidity pool has 236 million in liquidity locked. Uh, the volume was $26 million in the last 24 hours. You can see the weekly volume. You can see the fees, the fees that the Radium exchange is getting from all the, this kind of volume. And you can see the one year fees divided by the liquidity, which is the APR. So this is the APR not on yield farming, not on extra tokens that you get, but only based on the swaps and fees on the Radium 
ecosystem. On the Radium decentralized exchanges, uh, you get this kind of commission because you provide liquidity. You have also farms, you have yield farms because they want to incentivize people to add liquidity into Radium DEX. So you can, you have very juicy, nice farms. You can stake Ray with ETH, Ray with Serum. Ray is actually the native token for the Radium uh, decentralized exchange. I'm super bullish on it. It's not a financial advice, but I myself hold some Ray tokens. I like to diversify. I still hold Cake and Illuvium and One Inch and a lot of other tokens, but I also hold some Ray tokens. I think now it's a good price to accumulate some Ray tokens and maybe even stake them. I will have other tutorials about Ray token, about how to stake Ray and SRM and how to make massive yields staking Ray in SRM and why I think it's a good strategy. But right now you can see all the different farms and yield farms that you have here on Radium. You can also stake the solo token. If you don't like to provide liquidity and you are afraid for impermanent loss, you can just stake Ray token and get 25% APR, which is quite high. You have on Radium also the accelerator, which is the launchpad. So projects are launching on Radium like the PancakeSwap IFO or the Polka starter or now you have also Phantom starter on Phantom, all these kind of cool things. And this is the launchpad on Radium. You can also have drops on, which is some kind of similar launchpad, but in NFTs. And they even have an NFT marketplace on Radium. I'm not, I don't say it's the best marketplace. It's not like OpenSea or SolSea uh, or Solana Art or, you know, all these kind of better exchanges, better marketplaces on Solana, but it's super impressive that they have all these kind of features on single decentralized application. And you can see right here that Radium is, this is the price right now of the Ray utility token that is being used to, to incentivize people to provide liquidity. And also this is the token that is responsible for all the DEX. And if you look at some statistics, you can see that Radium is actually placed on the seventh in the list of all the popular and all the most used and in terms of TVL of all the exchange exchanges on DeFi Llama right below Uniswap V3 above Trader Joe above Serum above Bancor BNT and it's super super high and actually you can see the market cap divided by TVL that's why I'm bullish on Ray it's super super low 0 0.44 and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm bullish on Ray token because they have a lot of TVL and the market cap of the rate token is quite low. It's also ranked here on the DAP radar. Ray is placed somewhere here on the 14th place in terms of uh, the popular, the most popular. This is sorted by TVL, so it has quite high TVL. And yeah, this is the Radium, the biggest exchange on Solana. This is all the features. If you want to uh, stay tuned and watch my next videos, I'm gonna have make videos about the Ray token. I'm gonna make videos how to uh, trade on the Ray limit books, order books, and how to stake Ray to get good yields and why I think that staking Ray in SRM is a good strategy. Again, it's not a financial device. I'm just sharing with you what I am doing. That's it. And then, then you have to subscribe to this channel and click the notification button because more Radium Ray tutorials are gonna come soon. If you like this video, also consider smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people that want to learn about Radium, they can find this video and learn like you're doing right now. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. I'm very responsive to all, all my audience, all the, all the viewers, and I will be more than happy to talk with you, to answer your questions, everything that you need, I'm here for you. And once again, thank you so much for going here with me with the, in this DeFi journey, and I will see you in the next guide. Thank you so much and have a great week. Bye-bye.